What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Review It. So now we're here at the shop. This is episode one, new first episode of 2018. So let's dive into it and see what episode one has to bring. All right, so right off the bat, we have two Aces Z270A motherboards. Now, this is going to go from here, and we're going to start getting them onto the rack. So my goal today is probably to get one rig, or both rigs actually, assembled on this side. Um, so two motherboards, and get everything on there. And then episode two will be on the software and programming of each one. Alright so now we're going to go to assembling the processor and the RAM onto the motherboard and then we're going to move the motherboard over to the sticks that have the risers built in and where the boards are going to be mounted to. Then after we have both boards on here we're going to move it over to the rack. So we got the processor and the memory set on one motherboard. We're still waiting for the processor and memory for that board, which should be in tomorrow. So what we're going to do, since we already measured it out, we want to make sure these are even while we uh, mount this one to the wood. So we're going to use that board as well, just to make sure it's even on the other side. Alright you guys, so we went ahead and mounted the motherboard. Now the other motherboard, um, we're still waiting on the processor in the memory to come in. It was supposed to come in today, but actually will be here tomorrow. So we got the processor mounted, the memory, um, put the risers on the wood, and just drilled and basically threaded those in. Um, zip tied the two pieces of wood to the frame, and basically this is how it's going to be. So. Ethernet Cat 6 ready ran, boom, plug into here. And that one will be on tomorrow. So what I'm gonna try to get done today is mount the power supplies, the hard drive, and hopefully get some GPUs on this top shelf for this motherboard. Alrighty guys, so the ASUS motherboard is mounted on there as well. Processor memory is already set. As you see the power supplies here. So what I end up doing is I just zip tied them straight to the bottom. 
Um, I'm going to do the cable management after. Now when it comes to the SSD, that's just zip tied right onto there. And two zip ties holding the wood in place. So there you guys go. So what we're going to do is start mounting the GPUs. Going to be here and resting on this. Vice versa for this side as well. Boom, boom. All right, you guys, so we went ahead and installed the EVGA 850 gold um, and 1000 watt gold power supplies. Um, motherboard is mounted on the wood. Now, rather than the original Rig 3, what we talked about was doing four 580 Sapphire special editions and eight, uh, sorry, four MSI gaming uh, X8 gigs. We're actually gonna do this one all special edition 580s so as you see these are all the special edition 580s so blue ones same ones I was getting about 31.5 31.7 mega hashes out of um, we're gonna do rig 3 all of them the reason for that we want to see what the max is gonna be on eight special edition sapphire rx 580s um, still same uh, mint cell risers. Now these are the version 006C that I've been using. I had very, very good luck with these. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. So I'm sticking to them. Um, haven't had maybe maybe one or two bad risers out of 16, 32 that I've used. So not bad. So I'm definitely going to stick to them. Uh, also doing the PNY 120 gig SSD. That's already mounted up there as well and we have our cables so standard EVGA cables that come with the power supplies is the ones I've been using haven't had any issues whatsoever so let's go into it and start mounting these on the rack and see how they look all right so the unboxing of the RX 580 special editions stuff driver packs we don't need those bam same ones I was getting same exact models and everything so these boom. these are um, been running good I get about 31.5 to 31.7 mega hashes out of these 8 gig cards so let's see what they have to offer all together all 8 GPUs are going to be this Alright, so we got the risers open. I'm going to go ahead and mount the risers on the GPU. The reason I'm going to do that is it's easier to snap these on the GPU before um, actually, actually mounting them on the rack. So what this does is slides forward. This one's already slid forward. Boom. USB, 6 pin, and I will be doing SATA. And then make sure this clips back in. Bam, just like that. So, boom. And that will then now go on the rack. Have this. I'm gonna make the connections here with the SATA. The reason for that, it's a little harder to put on when it's on the rack. USB is gonna be easy to plug in. So there you go. This is going to be easy to reach. Boom. And then I'll run the SATA cables to make my connection to each GPU um, once I get them all mounted up there.
guys, so we got the GPUs all on the rack. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is go through and zip tie. Now, I only have zip, six zip ties left, so I will definitely have to grab two more tomorrow. Um, then I'm gonna finish up some cable management, get all the risers connected to each power supply. And then episode two will definitely be um, not installing Windows because all you guys are pretty well knowledgeable and know how to install Windows. So we'll definitely be going into setting up the miner and flashing each individual GPU. So let's get these mounted and uh, see how it looks. All right, everyone. So these are the EVGA SATA adapters. Um, now I am going to be using four of these. Let me show you guys the reason why. A lot of you guys had questions and asked me um, how am I running the SATA adapters. Um, I'm running just the first two. So here's one, here's two. I do not use the third. I actually zip tie this back. Um, reason for that, after doing a lot of research, a lot of people were saying to not use the third due to it was giving them issues with powering the risers. It's not getting the right um, power at the last one. Um, so that's the reason I only use the first two SATAs. So once this goes in your power supply, you plug in uh, GPU 1 and 2 in this one, then the next one, GPU 3 and 4, and so on.